friends, what's going on? This is David Potts with Song Notes, and today I'm going to show you how to play Have You Ever Seen the Rain by Credence Clearwater Revival. Now, I want to thank uh, Patreon supporter Martin for requesting this song. Uh, this is a song that I played at open mic nights back when I first started, so it's a long, dear favorite of mine, and uh, it's been fun sort of polishing it off again here for you. So let's get into the lesson. But before that, remember, you can get the PDF for this at my website, playsongnotes.com. Uh, I have this and hundreds of other uh, handcrafted chord sheets for the songs that I learn. Um, I do this so I can remember how to play stuff later, but I want to pass them along to you as well. It shows you the chords, the strumming. I'll show you easy strumming, medium strumming, sort of advanced percussive strumming. I'll show you the progressions, and you'll be in good shape, and uh, you can put this in your notebook of songs, take it with you, and uh, rock it wherever you go, right? So with that said, let's get in on to this lesson now. Now, for the chords we're going to need, um, let's look at them really quick, right? We're in the key of C. Okay, so we're going to need the, 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 the chord of C, right? Um, we're also going to need the F and the G chord. Okay, now getting right to that F and the G. The F is tricky to do the bar chord. If you can't do this bar chord yet, I don't want that to stop you from playing this song. I think um, there are many ways to do the F that make it a bit more uh, approachable, one of which is playing the middle four strings only. Right? And you kind of just, um, I just lightly lean my thumb into the low E string and lightly lean my index into the high E string. And that way, if I was to play all six strings, it's only the middle four strings that are making a sound, right? So I have a separate video on this. We'll need a G chord, okay? Um, and we will need an A minor chord, right? C and A minor are very similar, right? Get used to going from this A minor to the C, okay? Now, there is a walk down in the chorus, um, and I'm gonna cover those chords in a minute. Let's look first at the intro, okay? Now, strumming for this song, uh, the simplest version of strumming that I'm gonna talk about, and I'll use this when I'm showing you the chord progressions, is just doing all down strums, right? And if you can, give the two count and the four count the emphasis, the accent, right? So if we had a C chord, that would be like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You could play the whole song like that, right? I wanna know, have you ever seen the rain? Right? There's nothing wrong with doing a simple strum. Um, it's nothing wrong at all with that. So that's what I'll start with when I'm teaching you these progressions. And later in the lesson, I'll teach you some of the more advanced strumming patterns, right? Now the intro, it's gonna look like this. It's six measures total. We're gonna be going from A minor for four counts to F for four counts, C to G, and then one more time from C to G, right? And then you start the verse. Someone told me long ago. Now, um, the verse is going to be on C for four measures, okay? So four measures of four counts each. Then we go to G for two measures and back to C for two measures. Then we repeat that whole thing. And at the very end of that, we're gonna do um, C7 for one measure, right? C7 is just a C chord with our pinky on the uh, third string, third fret. Okay, so if I was to play the verse and I was to count it out, it would be like this, right? So. C, so C, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, G, two, three, G, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, C. And repeat the whole thing, right? When it's over, so they say, stay on C, it'll rain a sunny day. And I know G for two measures, shine now like thunder, C, and then C7. Then we go to the chorus, okay? Now the chorus um, is going to be one measure of F, one measure of G, and then from C. Okay, we have this walk down here. And in this walk down, basically, it's gonna be C for two counts, C over B for two counts, A minor for two counts, A minor over G for two counts. And, or C over G. That last chord, the, the the A minor over G and the C over G are similar enough. They're kind of the same actually, where uh, those names are interchangeable. Now how to play these chords that we're gonna walk down here. So the C chord you already know. 
The next one is this C over B. And what we're gonna do here is basically So what's happening here is I am lifting up, after I play the C chord, I'm lifting up my ring finger, then I'm moving my middle finger from the fourth string to the fifth string. So starting on the fifth string, it's second fret, open, open, first, open. Sounds kind of weird by itself, right? But the idea is that you're getting this bass note to, to descend, right? Like it's going downstairs. Okay, that's the sort of goal, right? And the C over B is just a transition chord along the way. Whoops. <laughs> and then we're gonna go to an A minor, that's the third chord, right? So practice that, going from a C to a C over B to an A minor. Notice how our index finger is staying in the same exact position for those three chords. Okay, and then from the A minor, we're just gonna wanna pick up our ring finger and move it to the, th the third fret of the low E string. We're gonna mute the fifth string just by touching it lightly with our ring finger. So this is like a C chord with a G bass, right? So those four chords are C, C over B, A minor, C over G, and then we go back to the F. Now, again, um, F is tricky. I like to play it sort of with my thumb wrapped around. if I want to get that low F bass note. But this is really tricky to do, and don't feel pressured to do this. And if, if you can't do the barring, just try to do those middle four strings if you can. Right? So the chorus in full though, with that walk down is, I want to know, have you ever seen the rain? I want to know, have you ever seen But let me do a quick, uh, simple playthrough of the chorus here. So, F, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, C, C over B, A minor, A minor over G, repeat. F to G, and C, C over B, A, A over G, then go to F to G, and then stay on C for two measures, okay? So once more with that chorus progression, we're gonna do that first line twice the F to G to C over B, A minor over G, right? And then do that twice. And then the final line is F to G to C for two measures, okay? So that's basically the entire song, um, the progression wise, there's a verse and a chorus, it's all you need. And you have this basic, that basic strumming pattern. But let me show you how to spice up the strumming pattern a little bit, right? Um, a, an intermediate strumming pattern you could do is to do a down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, down. And I recommend that you accent again the two and the four with this if you can, right? And this is a great way to extend that easy strumming pattern, right? The one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then go to the intermediate one, right? One, two, three, and four, and 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 four and, right? And then we're gonna, um, let, let's look at the, the verse with that sort of intermediate strumming pattern before we get to the advanced strumming pattern, right? That could be like this. So, someone told me long ago, there's a calm before the storm. I know it's been coming for some time. Right? The second half of the first verse. When it's over, so they say, it'll rain a sunny day. And I know. Shining down like thunder Or water, actually Right? And the chorus I wanna know Have you ever seen the rain? I wanna know Have you ever seen the rain? Coming down Sunny day now you'll notice when I was doing the walk down there, I was doing a down, down, up, down. I was doing a down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, right? Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. 
And it's gonna be sort of necessary um, if you're doing that intermediate strumming pattern, which doesn't really fit, because that's a four count strumming pattern. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. And those little transitions in the chorus walk down are happening um, every two counts, right? So we wanna do a down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Okay. Okay, so for strumming, uh, for the advanced strumming pattern, it's gonna look like this, right? It's down, up, chop, up, down, up, chop, up, down, up, chop, up, down, up, chop, up, down, up, chop. So that chop is like a percussive slap on the strings. I have a separate video all about this. Basically what we're gonna wanna do is sort of bring, um, bring the, the fleshy part of our hand down and hit the strings and just, uh, just after it, we want our pick to strike at the strings and make that sort of, uh, that sort of percussive sound right there, right? So what's happening is we're not getting any any strings making the, the ringing sound, right? And that's good because it kills the sound. It adds like a, a snare drum uh, effect when you're playing. So if we were to do a one up two, so one, so <laughs> one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and notice it's a two in the four counts that still get the accent here, right? Down, up, chop, up, down, up, chop, up, down, up, chop, up, down, up, chop, up. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. This is something that is tricky to get. Uh, took me a long time to get comfortable with, like years I'm talking, just casually working my way into it. Don't feel bad if you can't do this out of the gate, right? Just keep it uh, uh, sort of in the, the back burner of your mind. It's something you wanna get better at. Practice it every now and then, and then you'll, you'll sort of be on your way. So if we were to do the progression with that strumming pattern, it would sound like this, right? Let's do the second verse. Someone told me long ago There's a calm before the storm I know It's been coming for some time And it's over so to say It'll rain a sunny day And I know Turning down like a water I wanna know Have you ever seen the rain? I wanna know Have you ever seen the rain? Coming down the sun All right, so um, that's basically gonna be it for that advanced strumming pattern. Again, think of it as something you can work your way up to. One final piece of it I'll talk about here is the intro, the sort of double strumming that's happening at the... You have those, um, I don't know if they're 16th notes or 32nd notes drums, but they're happening right before the first A minor. So the way you wanna think about this is down, up, down, up, chop, up, down, up, chop, down, up, down, up, chop, up, down, up, chop, down, up, down, up, chop, up, down, up, chop, down, up, down, up, chop, up, down, up, chop, down. It's a tricky technique to do. Uh, you'll hear this in songs from time to time. If you look up like Girl, You'll Be a Woman Soon by Neil Diamond, he has the exact same thing going on with the exact same chords and the exact, exact same strumming pattern. It's kind of funny actually. Um, and basically the, the, the one piece of advice I would teach you here is after the fast strums, down, up, down, up, chop. After the down, up, down, on that down, that first big down, not, not the first, not the first fast down, but the, the fast, the down, up, down. That big down is the one count. You don't start the fast strums on the one count. You start the fast strums before the one count, right? So you're basically gonna count into it. I don't know if it's one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a four E and a one and two. Um, I'm not sure the exact timing, but it's basically, And it's tricky because you have to start the fast strum before the one count. Um, 
So that's basically uh, my advice there is, is know that those fast drums happen before the one count. I recommend looking at this visual here just to help you sort of visualize when you want to do that. But that's that's a tricky thing as well. So, um, hey, you have the chords, you got the strumming patterns, you got the chord progressions, you got the lyrics. Again, check out my website, play song notes to get the PDF. It's a great way to sort of take this with you and uh, be in a good spot with learning this song outside of this video. So thanks very much for watching. This has been David Potts, y'all. Uh, pick up your guitar and play. Bye-bye.